Hi, I'm doing my video recording of the emotional disturbance for EDU, sorry, SPD 390. Um, having to do it on my phone. I've made a PowerPoint, but my microphone has went out on my computer. Sorry about that. So I'm going to point you towards my computer so you can see my PowerPoint as I go along. What is emotional disturbances? IDEA defines emotional disturbances as a condition exhibiting one or more of the following characteristics over a long period of time and to a marked degree. And an inability to learn, which cannot be explained by intellectual, sensory, or health factors. An inability to build or maintain satisfactory interpersonal relationships with peers and teachers. And inappropriate types of behavior or feelings under circumstances. A general persuasive mood of unhappiness or depression. A tendency to develop physical symptoms or fears associated with personal or school problems. The Council for Children with Behavioral Disorders new definition as of 2000 for um, emotional disturbance is emotional or behavioral responses in a school program so different from appropriate ages, culture, or ethnic norms that the responses adversely affect educational per performance, including academic, social, vocational, or personal skills. More than temporary expected response to stressful events, constantly exhibit in two different settings, unresponsive to direct intervention in general education. Include such disability that coexist with other disabilities. Include schizophrenic disorder, an affective disorder, and anxiety disorder. Characteristics, externalizing, generally non-compliant behavior, does not follow directions within reasonable amount of time, arguing, tantrum, fighting, rule breaking, disruptive, yells out, gets out of seat, destroys property, lies, or steals. Internalizing, very little social interaction, seldom plays with other children extremely fearful without reason, complains of being sick, bouts of depression. The types of anxiety, mood, and other emotional disorders. Generalized anxiety disorder, phobias, obsessive compulsive disorder, anorexia, bulimia, post-traumatic stress disorder, selective mutasms, depression, Bipolar Disorder, Schizophrenia, and Tourette Syndrome. Academics, um, Emotional Disturbance People, their academics, they put, perform one or more years below grade level, exhibit significant deficiencies in reading and math, as well as study skills. Defective, deficients remain stable or gets worse as they grow older have a high level of dropout rate from high school, score in a lower, low learning or mild intellectual disability range. The average student effectively attend, attends to the teacher and work 85% of the time. Students with EBD are at task only 60% of the time. Causes or biological factors, brain disorders, abnormal brain development or brain injury, Genetics, the disorder with the highest link to genetics is schizophrenia. Temperament, a person's behavioral styles or typical ways of responding to solutions and situations. Environmental factors, home, the, their relationship with parents during early years is critical to behavior. School, usually identified with EBD in school. School can be contributing factor. 
community, gang memberships, drug and alcohol use, deviant behaviors are all part of the social behavior. Sorry about that. Just trying to get you around where you could see me. Identifications and assessments. If identify who might need help as a teacher. You, that's your job to identify who might need the help as your te uh, in your classroom. Who really does need help? What kind of help is needed? And is the help benefiting the student? These are all factors of identification and assessments that you need to look into as, as you teach students. Some myths and mis misconceptions. It is a myth that one with mental health problems are violent and unpredictable. The fact is that people with, with these diagnoses are no more likely to be violent than anyone else. It is a myth that people with emotional disorders cannot tolerate the stress of holding down a job. In fact, studies show that they are just as productive as other employees. Employers who hire people with EBD report good attendance and punctuality, as well as motivation, good work, and job tenure is on par with or greater than other employees. Some misconceptions. A common misconception people have in the, is thinking that they cannot do anything to help a person with EBD. Studies show that friends and loved ones can make a difference entirely. Only 38% of adults and 20% of children receive needed treatment for their diagnosis. Friends and family can be important influences to help someone get the treatment and services they need. Another misconception is people might believe that a person diagnosed with EBD is unintelligent because of its cognitive effect on them, and that is completely not true. People with EBD often can be regular and ha are commonly highly intelligent. Thank you.